just an FYI, just a quick something something to let you guys know. Uh, there's a lot of dog footage in this video. Some people might even say too much dog footage, but that just turned out to be the majority of the vlog. So uh, if you're into that, I hope you enjoy the video. If you're not into that, I, d I, d I don't know. I can't, I can't save you. Hi and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe with notifications on. These are my social media handles and all the links are down below in the description box. So there's no more of that, no more yarning to the camera, it's just a good old voiceover from now on. I hope this is recording alright. I was going to use my Blue Yeti, oh yeah by the way my brand new Blue Yeti microphone arrived. But I thought it might be cool to do like an unboxing video for that. Uh, uh, turns out they jam it real tight in. Like I was like I'll just slip it out the box, use it for this video. And then put it back in the box and sort of re you know recreate an unboxing video. Oh no, sir! No, this is a uh, this is very nice and tight right in there. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, so this is me. I was in a weird position to record this audio. Um, it's uh, not an attractive look. Then again, the only people watching me are like the government. Anyway, so this is the. Uh, the drive to the beach. It's like a 37 minute drive, not to be specific. Uh, that's my dog there, having a gander out the window. Uh, I had the camera around my neck on a string, like, like, a, like a string, like a strap, as you call it. So occasionally you can get a bit jilty. But uh, I also use my hand to twist it on the occasion. But don't worry, my driving was top notch. I only crossed the center line 17 times. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I was poor. But yes, so this is just behind my house, this road. Uh, it is the road I live on, but it's just a long mother flipping road. Uh, that's my dog. He, on the way back, man, he slept the entire way back. Like, as soon as we got in the car, he lay down. He likes to use pillows, and so he just sort of slept on a pillow for about... 37 minutes it took to get home. Then we got home and he slept from, like we got home at like 2pm the next day. And he slept from like 2pm until about 7am the next morning when I woke up. Ridiculous. I've been waking up at like 7am naturally recently which is like it's cool, it's like a blessing but at the same time it's so strange because I, I don't know what's triggered it. I don't know. But anyway yeah so we're going past uh this is, uh, the road, it's got orchards and it's got the hills up ahead, which is quite cool. I've always liked those hills, they used to have rocks jutting out, I think they might still have the rocks. But I know, um, one of the hills we just passed, it's very barren now, they just logged it. But I read actually an interesting fact, there are more trees in the world now than there were in the, in the 70s or something like that. Like, there are double the trees, maybe. I think it might be double the trees. There are double the amount of trees in the world than there were in the 80s. Or something like that. Try out, bloody. It's a whispers game, isn't it? It keeps changing every time. Like, someone's heard this, someone else has heard that. But yeah, this is the road. This is the, this is the last part. If you want to skip to the, uh... If you want to skip to the vlog part, which is mostly me in a tent with my dog and walking the dog on the beach and stuff. I think it's at like 5 minutes 20, 5 minutes 30, so in about a minute's time. But anyway, so yeah, this is uh, this is the road that the beach is on. If you look to the left, which you can't, but if you could, you would see a railway track, the dunes, and then the ocean. And to the right is just like sheer cliffs. Um, I th this is Matata, I believe. Um, I said a place called Pikawai Beach. Um, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. I've been there before, just once. I've driven past it a couple of times. I don't actually go this very, very often. It's a little bit out of the way. 
The only time I've ever been down this way is uh, for nefarious doings, um, to visit friends and stuff like parties. But yeah, it's pretty straight. It's a pretty straight road. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's one of the straightest roads I've ever been on, and uh, it just doesn't. Yeah, it's just it just runs along the coast until Fakatane, I think. It's pretty interesting. But yeah, I don't know. I hope the audio I'm making coincides with what's showing on screen. I try, I've tried to make it so. But I'm, I'm aware that my camera can only film in like 12 and a half minute bursts. Because it's from the 1800s. It is. Queen Victoria used this camera. That's a fact. I don't know if you can hear my my dog snoring while I record this audio, but he's really just, it's like, it's 11pm at night, it's bedtime, he goes to sleep about 10, like it's 9.59, he will get up and take himself to bed, it's, it's weird like clockwork. But anyways, this is the uh, site we camped at, <clears throat> sorry for coughing, that's my Simpsons chair where I sat for 6 hours the next day, uh, that's the beach we were beside, and then... When I swing around, which I believe happens about now, uh, you'll see the tent and the chair. That's the tent we were in. It's pretty good. I didn't realise until the next morning though I had that was like a massive rock, which I because like, when I we got there I like cleared the site of like all monkey tails and stuff and rocks and stuff, but I missed one apparently. So I had a rather uncomfortable night, which I didn't realise until the morning. I was like, why does my back hurt? Oh wait, I've been lying on a rock all night because um, Mensa want me because of this, this genius move. Anyway, um, but I should probably mention while I'm filming, uh, recording this audio, uh, the uh, video has, has hung. So I don't really know what's showing on screen right now, but I think I'm walking on the beach and stuff. Uh, so yeah, yeah, okay, so I'm getting like snapshots every now and then of like what's happening. So yes, I I I'll try and, and keep up. Hopefully it, it corrects itself soon. But yeah, so uh, this is us on the beach. It's a massive beach. Sea really wanted to go and say hello to all the fisher people, people who were fishing, because um, they wanted their fish, basically. It wasn't... It wasn't a social visit. It was just like I wanna I wanna have what they what they have. So I had to keep them away from them. Uh, which is fine. It was like oh, this campsite on this beach you had to have a uh your, your dog on a leash at all times. So uh I brought his leash that was ten meters long. It still is ten meters long actually. It hasn't changed in length whatsoever. Which we use for uh, like search and rescue and stuff. Like I bought it for a scent tracking course to help search and rescue, and that's what that is. And the only thing is, it gets really uh, the um, clip at the end gets really clogged with sand sometimes. But yeah, and I made him pose for some photos. Uh, so I was like, "See, sit." He goes, "Oh, fine, I'll sit. Thank you." And I make him pose for the photos, and I tell him, "Good boy, you can continue on now, and you, you can keep going." But yeah, it's like whenever, whenever I went to that beach, even at like 7am in the morning, there was just, um, you know, always people sitting and fishing with their long lines. I was, it was nice to play some games with him. It was annoying that he had to be tied up. But I mean, I think it's fair enough to protect the ecosystem. So was, we were playing, throwing these monkey tails around and stuff. He loved it, as you can see in those eyes right now. Um, it was really cool. Uh, sometimes when he gets too excited... He will let out like just like this this bark. Like I like his bark, it's really cool, it's a very powerful bark. But at a campsite I feel like he could have toned it down a bit. So yeah. It's uh that's the one thing he needs to work on I'd say is uh the excitable barking. Anyway, uh, it was nice, I think this is still the evening prior. 
Um, yeah, because he's not wet. He's all dry. Oh no, maybe this is the next morning. I don't know. I don't know, my timeline's all messed up. But yes, yeah, so I got a lot of good work done. It was really cool. I, um, I did a few plot outlines. I got some business stuff done. I did some commissions for some people. All pen and paper as well. Um, I also watched the new Jurassic World movie. Uh, at night. Which was, um, shit. I, I didn't think it was that good. Um, yeah. I, I don't know, I'm a big fan of the original books. Um, pretty much, predominantly the original book. I thought the movie, the first movies, two movies were quite good. Uh, but ever since then, I just, it's just, I don't know, I got mixed feelings. They just saw me there trying to talk to the camera. Um, the audio was so bad. I took, whenever I tried to do it, like something loud happened. I thought, ah, stuff, I'll just do a voiceover in the end. But, but this is the next morning and we went for a lot of, like a really long walk in the morning. So you can probably see that Z is soaking. Like he is sod and he is drenched because he went for a swim. Um, I avoided going for a swim the night before and after this because, oh, we're playing again. Because I didn't want him to get tangled up in the in the fishing lines, which was a worry of mine because he doesn't know what a fishing line is. He he wouldn't be on the lookout, and plus, even if he was on the lookout, like, how's he gonna spot it? They are they're deli deliberately hard to find. That's kind of their like selling point. Their USP is the fact that you can't really see them. But yeah, so we went for a really long. We were probably walking for about an hour and a half. That morning, which was sick. I woke up at like seven. I don't know if you can hear him in the background, but he's just making the weirdest noises. I woke up at like seven, and then went for a walk. We were the first awake in the campsite, because pretty much everyone else were in caravans and RVs and stuff, and already had a mattress in their tent. That was a big oversight on our part, I feel. The lack of a mattress. Um, but yeah, so we went for a long walk, and that was nice. Went for a swim. We... And then we came back, played a sunbathe. I sat in my chair, listened to some music, cracked on with some more work. Um, just trying to. Also, I started working on some uh, novellas um, because I obviously I want to release a novella a month for the next twelve months on this channel. Um, I mean, not on this channel, but you know, I'll be doing the audiobooks on this channel for sure. But um, I, I would release them, and you know, I was trying to decide whether I do a like a serialization of a of a book like the Green Mile, like Stephen King did with the Green Mile. Oh, he's knackered! Look at that! Look at that dog! He is so tired. Or I was wondering if I just do independent standalone novellas like Goosebumps was. I don't know if anyone read Goosebumps here, but Goosebumps that's and pretty much ended up being like one a month. It started off like a four book deal or something. And it turned out to be really popular, so he just knocked one out every three or four weeks. Um, which was cool. And I was thinking maybe something like that, but then it's standalone ideas, and you know, it's uh, it'll be cool to sort of establish a universe and you know, have recurring, like, sort of like, alright, mate, calm down. You know, I've got a lot of independent novella ideas, but. I've also, I like the idea of serialising something. I don't know if anyone's still watching this or listening. If you are listening, um, scream into the wilderness. I'm sure I'll hear it. No, I, I just comment, maybe. Comment, scream, S-C-R-E-A-M. And, uh, I'll, I'll know you've, you've been this far in the video. I thank you for that. It's insane. Anyway, I think I might serialise a book idea I've got. I've also written, like, three or four novels because I had a book deal um, a couple years ago uh, was it a couple yes yeah, so I signed a book deal when I was 20 I think I was 20 uh, so I'm 22 now oh 23 shit I, I just turned 23 and um, I signed this book deal and it was great probably best day of my life not gonna lie uh, I wrote the book, I wrote it in the deadline, and then a lot of stuff went down where I lost a TV show and my book deal and my agency.
pregnancy in the same month. Um, which is a good thing. It was a blessing in disguise, to be honest. I was in Indonesia when I found out. Um, I got a phone call. And it was good. I'm really glad it happened. Um, because it sort of forced me to see what I actually wanted. It was annoying to lose the book deal, though. Because um, that that's been my dream since I was a kid. Um, you know, I, I still write. and write, You know, I still write for a living, but... It was upsetting to lose the book deal. Yeah. Sorry, I've gone into that too much detail. I might even do a video on it, maybe, I don't know. But, yeah, so I wrote this entire book, it was... And the reason I wrote this specific story is because the publisher was like, yeah, that's commercially viable. Because it was dystopian at the time, like, Diversion and Hunger Games and everything was, like, really doing really well. And they were talking from, like, a... They wanted to obviously sell it and make it into a movie because that's where they make their big money. So they were like, make sure you've got this and this and this, like, a car with abs and beautiful girl and so that we can sell it and when the movie comes around and stuff I was like oh yeah definitely totally yeah yeah stupid idiot I was so I wrote all that uh, it's a good book there's some things I'd like to change um, but I'm really happy with it very proud of it but anyway back to the commentary on this video so this is Z getting he's knackered now like legit he just had enough rolling about rolling 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 and yeah, just, he's now drying himself off, maybe, I don't know. I think he was dry at this point. But he's so tired. But yeah, I think around, and then we had, obviously had to pack up the tent at this point. Which was, uh, I managed to bend pretty much all of the pegs. Because I didn't take a hammer with me, another oversight, I'm sure. So I smashed them in with my palm and my heel, the heel of my foot. Um... And because the ground was like half sand, it was kind of a strange texture. But yeah, I don't know, man. It was, uh, but yeah, we managed to do it eventually. And I couldn't get the tent back in very well. So I just sort of, it's, it's still in the boot of my car, it's, it's open. But anyway, thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back again with another video, unboxing all sorts of unique content from Daily ASMR with Ollie. Thank you for watching, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.